We are coming together today to to invite some amazing dragon energy into our beings and to swirl all around us. And of course, we have the benevolent wood dragon year starting tomorrow. Or is it today? It's it is said to correlate with the new moon and the new moon is this evening or this afternoon rather. And so, yeah, the lunar new year and the new moon in Aquarius generally conjunct. And so I really felt a deep call to show up for the dragons and infuse dragon frequencies and the excitement of the dragons as we come into the year of the dragon. And so there's there's this beautiful emerging occurring within these energetics on earth, in our beings. And it is with that emerging of spring. And so it's just such a beautiful time of rebirth where I am. I'm definitely seeing a lot of signs of spring. You might be in a colder climate where you're not quite seeing it yet, but somewhere under that snow, right? There's some emerging happening and we get to feel into that. It's also the in bulk energy, you know, we're kind of past that midpoint between winter and spring, but that is also the emerging energy. And so I would love to hear from you if you want to share in the chat. Um, We'll keep it muted until um, the end, and then I'd love to take questions, but I'd love to hear from you if you um, have a relationship with dragon energy, um, you could just say yes, or maybe, or no, Um, or if you are just curious, you can just say, you know, write in curious, and then I can kind of get a, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, so it's it, it it is a curious energy. And so some of you are like, yeah. <laughs> and some of you are like, well, I'm just learning about it. And that's a great reason to be here. You know, there's some like dragon people who've been dragon people for a while. And I go to their calls and I'm like, what planet am I on? And so I'm kind of a good, like. Uh, beginner friendly dragon person, you know, as I also deepen in, like I get to be like, come on, let's all go on this journey and deepen in. And um, so I love that everybody's into it. And, and that's, that's what this is for. So yeah, I would love to just also talk about um, how the dragon energy and the Aquarian new moon energy, plus a Aquarius and Pluto energy are really working together as one here in this incredible year of 2024. We are experiencing more of that shakeup energy that we've been feeling for the past several years. This year, specifically with the planets aligning, we get to really embody and move swiftly through the bullshit, through the muck into this expanded, elevated, more aligned version of ourselves. It's really that get free energy. And the dragons are all about getting free. The dragons are here to liberate ourselves from our chains, right? So when you think about the journey of the dragon, it's like they're this majestic, benevolent creature, just like wide and humongous and taking up all the space they need throughout the cosmos and the multi-dimensions. And then some way, somehow they got, you know, swords thrown into their bodies and, and arrows shot at them hundreds and hundreds of times. And then they were chained and thrown into dark dungeons. And like, they were unable to express their magnificence because they were, you know, served that injustice at such a great level. And they are liberating 
themselves. We are liberating ourselves from our chains. And so when we think about the things that have happened to us and our and the beings in our lineage and all the chains that we've kind of come into this incarnation with, and now we get to call upon the dragons with the support of the cosmos in this perfect alignment to truly transmute it all to love, to truly get free of any limiting beliefs, of any stories that we've been telling ourselves that we think we are, because we're not. We're not our stories. We're not our trauma. We are wise, benevolent, and majestic creatures. We are multidimensional creatures, and we are in our heart fully free. And then it's just about putting in the practices to actually live and breathe freedom, liberation, and everything is here to support us now. And so I really, really encourage you, you know, with the, with the dragon surrounding me to also encourage me to share, like, it's time to get really clean and clear in your energy field. Right. And I know that everybody on this call presently is, is doing the work and is, and is vibing high and clearing and cleansing the channel. And I know the people that are going to watch this later are on that path because that's who the dragons are calling in right now. The dragons are calling in the ones that are clear enough to be able to even see that the dragons are there for them and the dragon frequencies are available, right? If you're all muddied up and you can't see past your own bullshit and you're not taking care of yourselves, the dragons are not going to show up for you. And if you call them in and you're not doing the work and you're not on that path of integrity, they're going to fuck your shit up. So it's really important when you call in the dragons to be on that path of integrity and mastery, right? You don't have to be a master. I, you know, I don't know if I'll ever be a master of anything. I'm just, you know, we're on the path and we expand to the capacity that we're able to hold. And as we continue to cleanse and clear the channel, right? Our energy body, we're getting all the chains off and we're really allowing the energy to move through our beings and activate us in higher vibrational ways. Then the dragons can easily help us activate our DNA for the remembrance that we are wise, benevolent, majestic beings. So yeah, the, the revolution is here and the dragons are literally everywhere to support us with big smiles on their faces. So when I spontaneously became a dragon last year, had no idea. I, you know, I, I'm sure you all watched the story on YouTube or live, but it's been in my lineage. Uh, my Scottish ancestry has carried it through. I have dragon lineage in me. And when I was cleansing and clearing my channel with my mastery techniques and practices, I just made space for that to activate in my DNA. And it's like, it's revolution, right? And it's, it is, whew, it is absolutely amazing to remember that dragon lineage, to remember like all versions of that. My dog is scratching. Um, it's incredible to um, kind of go through the quantum field of remembrance and see all the aspects of, of the, the life of the, the dragon, right? The liberation, the freedom, the chaining, and then becoming free again. And really they're, they, they, they activate the DNA. They activate us to remember to be liberated so that they too can be liberated. It's all together now. It's all together now. And that's the beauty of this path. And I'm really here to serve. So I'm not going to talk about myself anymore. But if you want to learn my whole story, there's a whole YouTube um, story time about my journey. Um, so I want to I want to invite you to tune into some of these aspects of the dragon that 
I'm talking about. And maybe even take note or write down what at attributes, aspects of the dragon energy you're really called to, right? And I'm going to talk about a few other um, attributes of the dragons. And I want you to really feel in to yourself in the present moment and see what energy you really want to call in with the support of the dragons, right? To really embody for, like as medicine from the dragons as we move forward through this year. So I'd like to just come into coherence really quick and then we'll go into feeling in because when we're in coherence, then we can really access the energy in the present moment and, and really arrive. And let's see about this dog. Is my husband I'm letting her? There we go. Yeah. So <laughs> why don't you let him? Good girl. So we're going to come into coherence. And that just means all together now, right? All parts of ourselves working together as one. So inviting yourself to really come into your body. Inviting yourself to feel into where you are rooted. Maybe you're sitting, maybe you're standing and just feel into where you're rooting into the earth. Feel into the base of your spine and feel your spine gently and easily elongating, reaching through the crown or the top of the head and feel your shoulders gently peeling back along the spine as your heart center gently shines forward and then soften the face and the jaw and then notice where else you can soften your body and then become aware of your breath moving in and out through the nose if that feels okay you might need some audible sighs just go with the flow and really come into the awareness, the present moment, breathing with your life force. And notice your mind. See if your mind can just follow the breath moving in and out of the body. And notice your emotional state. And just letting that be here with you now. And then noticing your incredible prana, your life force, your chi, your energy body within you and all around you. Notice that whole system of energy here with you now, cultivating in the present moment for your most majestic self. So here we are, body, mind, emotions, and energetic spirit all together now. And now we can move. Now we can move with intention. And we can ask ourselves what qualities of this majestic dragon energy is really calling to us we want to take these aspects on the journey with us through this year. And you're welcome to stay in a more inward gaze with your eyes closed and focusing on your breath. You can come back and be in the conversation and we will journey a little bit in the near future again. So the wood dragon, I... You can read all about all the different aspects, but what I'm really seeing in the wood dragon is this earthy, creative energy. And it's really calling for us to invite our creativity to flow and explore what that means for us personally and to really stay grounded. Because these multidimensional energies, right, these higher vibrational frequencies that the dragons offer us, 
can have us flying, <laughs> flying, and it's great. And we are physical bodies on earth and we are of the earth. And so really remembering the elements and this incredible planet and our bodies to embody these aspects is important. So the wood dragon is that revolutionary energy. It's the let's fucking go energy. It's the get free energy that we talked about. And it's really inviting us to see like, how do I want to change the world? How, what do I want to see when I look out into the world? Like, how do I want to feel when I move through the world? And whatever you want to see out there first must be explored in the inner terrain. And so changing the world out there really starts with the daily practice of walking in integrity. And that's how we actually change the world because we can't do any of this. We got to keep going eyes in, eyes in, eyes in, take the eyes in. You want to point out there, point your point right back at yourself. And when you change this and align this terrain and get clear, then everything outside begins to shift because we are quantum beings. And when we work energetically and inform our energy, we're actually rippling that out into the quantum field. And then it manifests on earth. Innovation is going to be huge this year, specifically with wood dragon energy and Aquarian and Pluto energy. So we're going to see a lot of technology advancements. We're going to see a lot of innovation. And when we take that dragon heart, when we take that dragon soul eye view on it, we can have really clear discernment as to what is in integrity and what is not in integrity. And we can choose to interact with technology and innovation in ways that feel supportive for us. And how do we want to innovate, right? How do we want to utilize innovation and technology to um, to benefit ourselves and all and taking action. So this is this whole year, I mean, just right off the bat in January, it was like, come on, you know, and the, the earth is resting here in the Northern hemisphere, but still the energy was like, let's go, you know? And so really this year is the year to be like, okay, I'm actually going to do it. Like, I'm not going to say, Oh, I'll do that later. Or yeah, maybe later when I, this, when I, that, when I have more time, when I have more money, blah, 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 then maybe I will. No, it's, it's action time. It's, it's go time. And whatever that means, it doesn't mean like, um, you know, coming out of alignment and, and moving into fight or flight. We, we still want to take care of our nervous systems as we move with action, with aligned action to really come into that sense of service for our terrain and then that ripples outward and the wood dragon really invites us to enchant our energy what does that feel like Ooh, enchanting your energy so it's like how magical can i be and how magical am i and in my bones and blood way back before all this trauma I was a magical being and my ancestors were magical beings and maybe they lived amongst dragons who were showing themselves. And can I tap into that energy that is alive in my bones and blood? Can I tap into that and enchant my energy to really invite me to ignite my ma majesty, right? And that can feel really fun because then you get to play with the dragons. Ooh, dragons, come, let's play. Let's enchant our energy. And the dragons want to play. The dragons are incredibly playful. And they would love to help you explore this enchantment, this, this magic. And another thing they're really asking for is to be whimsical and eccentric. So it's it's like time. Like the dragons, like, Kind of like, I don't know, I'm like six foot three and like 
you know, it just makes sense. I'm a dragon, but it's like, I can't not wave my freak flag walking around. Like, I'm just like, I can't do it. And so it's like the dragons are like, can you be eccentric and whimsical and just allow all of the perceived shame that society has tried to keep us limited, right? Those are chains that society's placed on us because in the past there, it wasn't safe to be magical, but now it is. And so can you truly be the eccentric, wild, wondrous, weird, vibrant being that you are? Yes. <laughs> and like I said before, just the nature, ground, nurture, 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 and, and go out into nature to see how nurturing this planet is and nurture yourselves with delicious whole foods and herbs and rub your bodies with, you know, nice oils and, and essential oils and things like that. And just nurture, 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 nurture. So what else? Grace, benevolence, uh, fortune, ferocity, wisdom, power, and not the power that's you know, breathing fire for the sake of destruction. It's the power that's breathing fire for the sake of cleansing and purifying and energizing, right? And so we we move with the power in that sovereignty. Our sovereign hearts move forth. The heart leads the way. Dragons are made from unconditional love. That's one of the first things they showed me. That's one of the first things I felt when I was initiated into the dragons, right? It's like, we are all unconditional love and we weave the fabric and hold it down in the cosmos. We always have and we always will. And so just know that the dragon energy is literally woven in unconditional love and it will not waver. It stands strong with a smile on its face, just like, Hey, I'm love, you know, and it's, it's incredible and strong and, and divine. So um, what of all of that do you want to take as your dragon medicine, right? As you emerge into the year of the dragon, what, you know, alongside everybody else who's saying yes to this medicine, what specifics and claim them now. And I, especially with the new moon, right? It's the darkness. It's really inviting you to, um, to manifest, set intentions, be, move with intention. So maybe it's just a word. Maybe it's, um, what did I like? Enchantment, right? Or something like that. And you just use that word as the mantra or phrase that you carry with you through this little embodiment practice that I'm going to guide you on. Maybe you want to take a couple of moments to craft a mantra for yourself that you can carry with you energetically and, and, and you can say it out loud as you journey, you can have it in your, in your minds as you journey. And it's going to amplify the, the vibration, right? The resonance that you are creating. So I'm going to be quiet for a few moments and we're going to come into that fertile void space of the new moon and craft a mantra or just get really clear on a single word or phrase that we want to carry with us.
And so we will move into an embodiment practice with this mantra or phrase or word as our guide. And as always, take what you need, take what serves you, leave the rest, go on your own journey, or allow me to be your guide. So we're coming back to that space of coherence. We're dropping into our bodies. The heart gently shines forward. And of course, throughout this journey, if you want to come into an embodiment and practice, you want to move around more or less, or you want to be still, anything goes, just really tune in to how you intuitively want to receive this journey. Beginning to slow down and deepen into the breath while staying relaxed in the body. Feel that center channel up and down the spine begin to activate with your breath. Feel into the thriving and vibrant parts of your being in this moment. Allow these parts of your being to expand and envelop all parts of your being, just holding it all, sending slow, deep breaths to envelop your entire luminous energy body, your physical body, your mind, your emotions with thriving energy, vitality. You are alive and well. Your life force moves powerfully and tenderly and gracefully to support you now. Breathe into that. And we practice now embodying our most benevolent and majestic selves. And if you'd like to Call upon the benevolent and majestic dragon energies that are attracted to you now. They can be there as your guides. They can swirl around you playfully and lovingly with their hearts wide open, big smiles on their faces to support you as you deeply breathe into this remembrance and inner knowing that you are your most majestic and benevolent self now. And you are safe to shine in your majesty. Feel into what you're bringing with you on this journey. What is your word? What is your phrase? What is your mantra? Claim it and bring it with you on this journey. And where can you send your breath in your physical body that needs this medicine the most? Breathe into that space. Breathe into all those spaces and envelop them with this energetic mantra. What does it feel like? 
as this intention bathes your physical being now. Taking another slow, deep breath, pouring this love into your physical body here on this planet in this present moment. And come into your mind, your incredible mind that really is the orchestrator of instructing your energy. Come in there and see the terrain of that space and breathe and vibrate your intention into this space. Inviting liberation, inviting those pathways that do not serve you to begin to grow, overgrow, so that we no longer use them. Inviting new, magical, and benevolent pathways to begin to mold here in the mind. Repeating your intention, laying down the path in your mind now. Tuning into the emotional body. How are you feeling? Let's take the mantra there, knowing that we can feel our emotions fully and just let them move on. And that is how we attain more often these states of bliss. Feel your feelings fully in this moment, whatever they are. Express them fully in this moment, however you need to. Let them flow. And take a breath here. Reminding your emotional body to move through by expressing fully so that you are liberated in this space in states of bliss. Yeah, now we're becoming aware of our entire energetic body. It pours out through the crown, sweeps all around our bodies, comes up through the root, through the center channel and around coming through the crown. And then it goes in the other direction. It comes from the root, around and up and down through the crown. And so you feel into this incredible magnetic field that you are creating with your life force energy swirling and powerful and thriving and vibrant. Vibrate your intention all throughout your energy field. Breathe into it. Expand this intention into every piece of your energy field, woven with threads of luminous energy, and radiant light. It becomes more activated the more you resonate your intention 
within it. Taking several more breaths here, maybe even moving your hands around, combing through your field, activating it. Noticing if you're dancing with dragon energy supporting you and swirling with you in this multidimensional vessel that you call home. I'm taking one more deep breath. You can always come back to this practice as often as you want. Just breathe into the whole thing all together now. Um, yeah, maybe shake it out a little bit. Ooh, feeling alive, feeling invigorated, feeling majestic, feeling this incredible energy that is available to you now. And all you got to do is call upon it and it's alive in you. Yeah. So, <laughs> so come on back, come on back all together now and just notice how you're feeling and notice how it feels to really work with this benevolent, majestic energy that you have. Now you may not say, oh, I'm a dragon, but you can access the frequencies of the dragons, right? You can access that unconditional love. You can access those high vibrations. You can resonate your field with the medicine of the dragons, of the benevolent dragons. And they're going to be here for you whenever you want. But this year specifically, it's going to be so incredibly supportive with this multidimensional being on our side in the year of the wood dragon. So um, invite them to go in and liberate you from the chains that you perceive to be held by because they're not real. And you can just phew, transmute it to love, phew, transmute it to love, phew, transmute it to love because time and space isn't real. And you can dissolve it all into love. My favorite mantra from the dragons is everything is possible. Everything is possible. And so just know that it is. So I want to share my screen and share with you something that I am excited to um, offer. I don't know where the heck it is. <laughs> Share screen, it's right there. And um, and this is an offering that's on my heart. I'm really excited about it. And I'm just gonna share it with you. And if you resonate at this time, you are invited. So I have a course coming up and it's gonna begin on the leap year. How majestic is that? We just get an extra day this year. That just feels like a dragon, right? So I'm starting this on February 29th. It's called Dragon Soul Creative. It can be completely self-paced, but it can also be um, something that you are co-creating with me in the present moment with live calls. So we're only going to have three weeks. So it's just like a little interlude. It's not this deep dive. Um, it's actually, we're staying pretty light and bright and vibrant. And it's all really inspired by the bliss dragon who I guess it kind of looks like this. She's, she's, she's a lot like softer, like really soft kitten fur, but she's really light pink and she's so sweet. And she really encourages us to be in our most blissful state. And so she's really by my side, guiding me through this offering. And it's really about playing with the benevolent dragon energy in a lighter, more creative way so that you can decide if you want to deepen into like more initiatory 
dragon experiences later on. So it's really about awakening that multi-dimensional bliss. And so what's going to be included, and you can of course look at this if you'd like, is um, more activations guided, like kind of like we did now, but we're, we're gonna be traveling through the sea of love. We're going to journey with the bliss dragon. And then we're going to meet the dragon frequencies that are really serving us. And I'm going to offer a couple artistic prompts where I am an artist. So you can, um, you can actually do some artwork along with me and really figure out how you want to express your creativity with this blissful dragon energy by your side. And then I also decided because um, I recently ran a course and, and there were a lot of people who were hesitant about like doing the artwork. And so I was like, well, what if I make coloring pages where you can still tap into that creative energy, but you have an image to play within. And so I've decided that I'm going to make some beautiful coloring pages for you. And that's also included in the course. And it'll go into detail about what, when the weeks are actually meeting and what we're doing each week. And, oh, I guess I have to fill that in. February 29th is when we begin. A little bit more about me, if you, and I feel like lots of you know me. And that is my offering. And right now we have the early bird price. It is $66. Very, um, very easy to say yes to. And of course, if you are interested in a payment plan or something like that, you are welcome to reach out to me and we can discuss. So I will also send that link in the um, replay email that will come out tomorrow. And I appreciate you um, letting me share that with you. I'm really excited about it. And I really like the live element of meeting on Zoom. We'll meet three different times um, because it creates, it co-creates the energy together. So I'm like, okay, these are the people I'm serving, right? And I can tap into the quantum and also recognize the people who aren't there maybe in the present moment, but their energy as well. Like, who am I here to serve? And how can the dragons and my highest self guide this journey for this present moment to be most potent? And it's just been so much fun to, to do this type of work. And I just want to do more and more. And then after the um, big eclipse energy in April, I'm going to create a dragon initiation course, which will go deep. There won't be um, art making. It'll be like, let's meet the black dragon. Let's meet the golden dragon. Like, let's get, let's get these chains off and it's going to go deep. So I feel like if you're interested in the dragon energy and you um, need a little like light footedness to begin to feel comfortable in that high vibrational energy. This course is going to be really nice and playful and loving. And then maybe you'll be ready for the initiation work. Um, because yeah, when you really call on the dragons, you're, you're going to be in, in an initiation. So it's, it's pretty phenomenal. It's, 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 it's not scary. It's, it's, um, you know, the initiation has shadow work. Everything is, you know, when you're when you're doing the work, you're you're going into the shadow. So, but there's always going to be those loving dragon energies around you, even if you're in um, some some big chain breaking energy. So that's what's on deck for me. The dragons have been very clear about me stepping up and serving in these ways. I'm so honored to do this work. It feels so alive and real and um, wonderful. And I just I guess I want to finish up by saying that the dragons are here to assist you and they they love to help and they are they feel really um excited that more and more of us are waking up to their benevolent energy they are everywhere they're in the trees and the waters all the elements the air you can see them in the clouds and the fires um on the earth i see them all over the place in the trees here in tallahassee they're like Hi. Um, and they're just here to serve. And so call upon them when you need guidance. Like if you're sitting in your ego, right? If your ego is like, nope. you know, being a being a brat, be like, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Dragons, can you call, can you come over here and help me with this ego? And then the dragons are like, Phew, yep, this is bigger than this. It's bigger than you, it's bigger than all of it. And uh you're magical, and then it's a lot easier to move through. So call upon them and 
and question everything. You know, this shakeup period, this get free period of time right now, question everything. That's what the dragons are saying. Question it all because everything is possible. Don't let anybody try to limit you. And yeah, I think, I think that is all I want to say. I feel like um, it's time to get free and let's rise up and spread our wings and fly. I appreciate you all.